All right, hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video, uh, basically doing showing more tips and tricks using TouchWiz. Uh, some of these uh, tricks and features are only for TouchWiz 4.0. Some uh, work on TouchWiz 3 as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick video, basically showing you some cool tricks and tips. I also have videos on separate ones. I'll link to those in the description of the video. Be sure to check those out as well. Uh, but anyways, one of the first ones I want to show you is basically quick uh, shortcuts to messaging and making phone calls in the contact. So I'm going to go to my contacts. As you can see, I made a bunch of fake ones to to just basically hide some of the guys in my contacts. But anyways, um, you got uh, you can what you can do is swipe from the left to the right, and that makes the phone call. So as you can see, it'll pop up something, it, whether you go to your contacts and you say, oh, I want to call this person. Just swipe from the left, it'll make a phone call. If you swipe from the right, send a text message. So uh, I haven't added a number if I wanted to. Uh, let's go ahead and add a number to this person. So edit, phone number, I'm just going to do a, a random number. So um, now that I have this number in there, if I swipe from the right, it should start a new message. So as you can see, it's got a new message to A, which is that person. So as you can see, that's just a cool feature that uh, TouchWiz does have. I believe it works on three, TouchWiz 3 and 4, so that's just a nice universal feature with TouchWiz. Uh, you also have a cool feature on the Galaxy S2 devices with the stock browser. What you can do is actually put both your it's called the panning or whatever they use, uses the accelerometer. You put both your fingers on there and if you move it closer it'll actually zoom in. So put both your fingers and if you move closer or further away it zooms in and out as you can see. Which is a nice feature to have so if you wanted to uh, just basically move it closer and you need to get it bigger, I mean, or bigger or smaller, as you can see. But anyways, uh, another nice feature that uh, the stock browser has is when you pinch zoom, if you pinch zoom, I believe if you pinch it uh, enough, as you can see, it opens a new Windows thing, so you can hit a new, a new window option, so you can open a new window if you need to. Uh, so it, that's just if you pinch zoom far enough in, it will open that Windows option so you can scroll through your different windows. So that's just a feature, I believe, only on the Galaxy S2. So just adds up there. You also have um, uh, another option on your home screen. You can pinch, and it'll give you all seven home screen options. You can actually, I, I, here's a feature some people don't know about. You can press and hold on one of them and basically rearrange them. So if you wanted the home screen to change you can just move that there and th there's your new home screen or if you wanted to move it back you could just go like that so that's just another nice feature that uh, TouchWiz does allow you to do if you want to rearrange your home screens or even just see a preview of all seven of them you have that option I believe that's features available on TouchWiz 4 and 3 as well so very nice features there but uh, otherwise those are just some quick TouchWiz features I wanted to go over with you everyone just to make sure they everyone knew about them uh, just some tips and tricks on that I do have other ones as I said you can change your brightness with the notification bar I got a video on that you can also on Galaxy S2 devices take a screenshot with your phone so I've got a video on that as well so be sure to check those out those will be in the description as I said otherwise be sure to subscribe to me as well for future videos and uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter links are in the description of the video and thanks for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up